Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today we're going to be looking at a product from True Utility. This is the telescopic pen. As the name implies, this is a pen that extends, much like a telescope, to become 100 millimeter in length, or that's 10 centimeters. And to give um, a visual uh, reference of size, here is a regular big pen. And you can see that, yes, it does compact down quite a bit. All right, now um, this is one of their um, items in this product line. Other things include a multi-tool, a lighter, a knife, um, and they're all, I guess, could be grouped into the category of EDC or everyday carry. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look around the um, package here. And actually, in this case, there's more to the package than just being something to attract your eyes when out on the store shelf. But yes, the package here is actually a waterproof case. Now, as you can see, it's way more room than you would need for just the pen, but you can also use this case. You're expected to use this case for other things. Um, you do see they include three refills here. Um, they do look to be considerably shorter, as you'd expect, right, because it compacts down. It would have to be, but so um, you do get three refills. I'd like to know if I can order more of these, but at least for right now, I have three. Brush stainless steel tubing and aircraft grade aluminum body. All right, so what we're seeing here is the aluminum, and then the shaft is the stainless steel. All right. Oh, here's a little picture where they're kind of showing you how you can put other things in the case. And on the top, True Utility. Oh, and their slogan is, In Your Pocket, Essential Key Ring Pen. Yes, this it's essential. You must carry this. All right, All right so um, I'm going to go ahead and open it here. Um, the waterproof case um, has a double hinge clasp. It The hinge is plastic. Oh. All right, I'm going to take off the little seal here. Yep. All right. And there is a O-ring in there. And we will be testing the case later. Right, to the pen itself. So there it is. Yep, so the outside, as promised, is metal. This, um, what do they call it? The V clip is also metal. It does fold down. and it seems that it stands on its own in the upright position. Once you take it beyond that point, it drops down. And, oh, that's clever. So the cap, as we know, is magnetic. So once the V-clip comes down, uh, the, the cap basically grabs the clip so it doesn't rattle, 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 rattle. So, clever. All right, so to take out the pen, you just simply pull. You do not need to twist. Looking inside the cap. All right. So, oh, I suppose you could just write like that. Our, but let's go ahead and do the expanding, extending. So, since there's no instructions, well, you know, let's just look. I mean, really, I don't think you would need instructions for this. But, oh, okay. So um, here are the other items that they offer. I'll just scroll it by real quick here. And um, yeah, there, <laughs> there are some uh, limited instructions. So, and is that coming up? There you go. Okay, now I'm just going to extend it. So it comes out two sections. Uh, yeah. All right, so 
I, I say I have normal size hands uh, and it is still a more compact pen than a regular pen. So, but you, it is long enough, however, to get this part of the barrel up on the web of your hand for the support. It's as long as it needs to be to be a functional length without, you know, being a finger only pen. So, and now there's the, we, it comes with an ink cartridge included, which is good because that means I, we have four ink cartridges, the three spares and then the one that's already in here. You've probably seen this that has these little uh, ovals here that go all the way around. And uh, they do somewhat act, yeah, I'd say they do work for traction. And give you a little extra grip there. Now let's see how you would replace the ink cartridge because with these smaller size ink cartridges I can see that needing to happen quite soon. So my guess is that you grab, if you can see here there's some texturing grooves right along this tip portion. So I guess you grab those, yep that's the way you do it. So you grab right here, put your thumb right there before the wide part of the pen dig it into those little grooves that are on the, the metal tip and turn and there you go so that's what it looks like without the tip and it's uh yeah it's full about it's about as full as the rather the three spares and to put it back in well just do the reverse and there it is on the shaft there is well I don't know if it's not coming up but it does say uh, true it doesn't so it's just the true part of their name they don't have the utility there but yeah alright closing it up oh that's clever it the, the cap basically pulls in the pen you don't even almost have to even push it in well you should to make sure it's in there but all right, so we're gonna do a quick writing test and then go to the waterproof uh, case test, all right? So for the writing test, um, I got the ex pen extended as far as it can go. It is, there you go, resting there, and I'll just write something. So, yeah, it works. All right, all right so now onto the waterproof uh, case test. So what I have here is the case, and to represent your money or important whatever you're carrying that you don't want to get wet will be represented by this piece of bathroom tissue. Now I'm using this because this is obviously, it absorbs water quite well, so if any water gets in here, it will um, go ahead and get onto the tissue. So opening up the case, fold this up a little, all right, it's in there. Make sure I get the lid centered. So there we go. I'm gonna give it a little uh, holding it closed as I do the latch, just to make extra sure. Okay, that's that. Now, time for the water. Here, I'll go ahead and pick up the camera. Okay. So, as you can see, there's water in here. Okay. Here goes the case. All right, it floats but we're not gonna let it just stay at that. We're gonna submerge it. Bounce it around a little. Turn it over, down again. Bump it into the corner. Okay, I think that's pretty fair. Pull it out. And uh, well, I think it got some water in there. So let's go ahead and dry it off. All right. Now put the camera back. Okay. So let's open the case. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, this, uh, not only, you can see it's actually, yeah. Okay.
Okay, waterproof, the case is not. So it's definitely not waterproof. I would say it's water resistant. I suppose if you were carrying this in the rain, um, water probably would have gotten in there. The raindrops would have fallen and then rolled off the side. But if you do submerge it, yeah, you can pretty much bet that your things are gonna get wet. All right, so just a few things I wanted to cover real quick before we get to the conclusion. Um, okay, here on the cap or the lid, um, it has something written. I didn't show you this before, but it has written true telepen. All right, the other thing is uh, with a regular pen, well, this one doesn't have this cap on it, but you know how you can usually put the cap on the butt of the pen so you don't lose it while you're using it. Well, this uh, cap does not fit on the back of the pen. But again, that really wouldn't be needed because this is supposed to be attached to your key ring or lanyard. So anyway, but I just want to make sure that you knew that. All right, so with that covered, let's get to the conclusion here. Um, again, a quick size comparison. All right. Now, um, would I recommend this? Uh, yes, I would. It's actually quite handy. Um, and on top of that, it's kind of fun to hold, at least for me. Um, it might differ. You might differ on that. But... It's due to its round and compact size, you can kind of play with it inside your palm of your hand, can fling it, you know, anyway. So it's uh, another little uh, feature of this pen being the size that it is. So I would uh, recommend picking one up, uh, and for the price point, it's pretty reasonable. And um, I haven't, of course, gone through the, the uh, a full um, cartridge yet even so I don't really know how long these little cartridges are going to last of course that'll vary based on how much you write but for a quick backup pen uh, you shouldn't really need more than this